Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Cut a Yo-Yo. This week, we've got the Art Sparrow. Little uh, undersized guy. Um, a mini grail, you could say. It has very many of the same characteristics. Um, just plays much smaller. So you're going to get less spin time, less stability. It's kind of just a fun little yo-yo. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the two main things to talk about on it. I think it's going to be pretty evenly weight distributed. Weight distributed. Um, because you got that bump in the center that's going to hold that center weight, and you can tell from the play. It's not too heavy with a ton of rim weight uh, that you get with smaller yo-yos, and it definitely has... Um, it's not the most stable yo-yo, which you would get from more rim weight as well. So those two things you can tell will be in the design as we go ahead and cut it in half. But first, as always, I want to ask you guys what you want to see cut next. You got three choices. Leave the vote, your vote below in the comments. Just comment what you want to see. One drop cascade. Caribou Lodge Yo-Yo Works, Wooly Marmot 2. Or uh, I guess it's a one drop theme, the one drop cabal. So go ahead, let me know in your comments below what you want to see chopped in half, what do you want to see, what the design looks like, and I'll go ahead and, and open it up for you. But without further ado, let's cut the art sparrow. There we have it, the ART Sparrow. I don't have a lot of undersized yo-yos cut to compare it to, unfortunately. Um, so we'll go start it off with the Peak, which is slightly larger, but very, very similar in weight distribution overall. Um, Peak has that giant nipple, and uh, the Sparrow flattens it out over the uh, entirety of the cup right there. But both of them, you can tell, pretty center rated and rim weighted. Um, and also very similar amounts in both. Peak's a little bit bigger, so it plays a little bit more stable. Um, here we've got the Poppet, another small yo-yo. Um, the Poppet is a uh, different aluminum, stronger aluminum, but you can see it's very even on the weight distribution. Not a whole lot of rim weight, but again, bigger in size. Ends up playing a little bit more stable, and uh, the width helped with that as well. As not having the high wall, um, that you can kind of see here on the Sparrow. Um, there's the cutaway on the pocket. Uh, we'll compare it to the Hawk. Uh, pretty similar um, in aspects of the weighting. The Hawk's a little bit more smooth throughout, but um, overall I'd say it's pretty close. The Hawk just moves the, to more mid-weight um, than center weight. And last but not least, we've got the uh, Murmur, which is a very, very similar design. Uh, it's kind of in between the Sparrow and the Grail size, very similar shape and design, aesthetics. Um, as you can see, basically it's got the hump in the middle for the middleweight, and then um, goes out to a beefier rim. The Murmur has a little bit more evenly distributed throughout the uh, midsection here, but overall very close. Um, design aesthetics to the uh, Sparrow. Sparrow's just a little bit more, it's got the rounded edges. I think I talked about that in the Murmur. Uh, Murmur's got that um, angled edge right on the edge uh, where the Sparrow and Grail and such are nice and uh, rounded and smoothed off. There we have it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you did enjoy this episode of Let's Cut a Yo-Yo. If you did, two things. Leave a like, 
thank you. Help spread it to your other yo-yoing friends that are searching through YouTube for some content. Number two, make sure you vote below in the comment section what you guys want to see cut next, and I'll make sure to make it happen. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.